What's going on guys? So with iOS 13.1, we can now use NFC tags along with our shortcuts and home kit to do some cool stuff. So let's do it. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me. For those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I am slowly building an affordable smart home here using HomeKit. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Check the bell icon so you get notified when I make future videos. Um, but today we're gonna talk about NFC tags. And uh, if you recall recently when I was talking about iOS 13, NFC tags was at the top of that list. I've been really excited about this. If you don't know much about NFC tags, it's just these little like programmable stickers now with the release of iOS 13.1, we can now program these NFC tags. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is just set up three very basic uh, shortcuts or automations using these NFC tags. Now you do have to have an iPhone 10s, 10R, 11 or 11 Pro to be able to uh, to write to these NFC tags, I believe. And you definitely have to have one of those models to be able to read the NFC tags without any third party apps. The iPhone does support reading NFC tags as far back as the iPhone 7. For the iPhone 7 through 10, you have to have a third party app to be able to do that. Like I said, with the iPhone 10R, 10s 11 and 11 pro you don't need any third-party apps you can just tap these nfc tags at any time without having to do anything else and it'll start that automation there's lots of different types of nfc tags and different formats and things like that but if you're like me you don't care too much about that you just want something that works the iphone i think will work with most of these but it's kind of recommended to use the n tag so what i did a while ago was order some of these uh, N tag 215 NFC tags from Amazon. They're super cheap. You can get a ton of these uh, without spending a lot of money. This pack of 10 that I got was less than $6. But I'll put a link in the description down below for the ones that I ordered in case you wanna get some of these. We're gonna set up one for the car, one for the bedside table, and, uh, and one for kind of like a hidden NFC tag uh, that we're gonna use for like some security stuff that I think will be cool. All right guys, so for the car, I'm gonna set up an automation on an NFC tag so I can just stick this in the car, tap it whenever I'm ready to go. We're gonna get directions using Waze because I like to use Waze when I go to work for traffic information. Start a podcast and then we're going to shut the garage. Okay, so for this first automation, let's open up shortcuts, tap on the automations tab, create new, and this will be a personal automation. A thing to keep in mind is that you can set up these NFC tags to do different things for different people's phones. So we can set this tag right here to do one thing for my phone and another thing for my wife's phone, for example. So they're all different. Personal automation, if we scroll down, we'll find NFC. And here we're gonna have to scan the tag. Okay, let's call this car NFC. What we're gonna do first is get directions using Waze, um, drive to work. Next, we're going to start a podcast. I like to use Overcast for my podcast. Um, let's just pick one, we'll pick Joe Rogan podcast. And next we will shut the garage so for this our home kit stuff type in home and here you can see your home kit stuff control whatever your home name is will be right there and now you can choose anything in your home to control here with this nfc tag so we'll scroll down find my garage choose next uh, you can change the state of it here but i'll leave it since i want it to close okay choose next and that's it. You can see when car NFC is detected, drive to work, play Joe Rogan experience, and control Watley home. Ask before running, we'll wanna turn that off. Don't ask. That way when I'm in the car, I can just tap my sticker and it'll do all these things automatically. Choose done. All right, let's test it out.
opened up Waze, Joe Rogan podcast started playing automatically. All right, so this next one is just gonna simply run a good night scene. Stick it somewhere on your bedside table, uh, beside your bed, and just instead of having to open up the home app or talk to Siri, you can just tap this. This might be good if your significant other is asleep already or whatever, and you just kinda wanna real easily and quickly tap this to run this entire good night scene. Once again, go down to NFC tag, scan, We'll call this Bedside NFC1. And this is just gonna trigger our good night scene. So easiest way is to find your home, control home, and here's our scenes. The good night. Done. And that's it. That's an easy one to do there. So when we, when the bedside NFC1 is detected, it'll trigger our scene. So that's easy. All right, so let's go put this sticker on the bedside table and test the automation. Okay. And that is our second automation all set up. Now the third automation, the security system arms, the garage shuts, the door locks, and all the lights go off. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use an NFC tag. I can actually hide this NFC tag somewhere and just tap my phone to it and run the automation and I don't even have to worry about it. But so let's go ahead and do our last one. NFC, scan. And this one again is going to uh, use my home. And what this does is this is going to trigger my security system. It's gonna turn it on. Okay, I'm just gonna set it to away. And I set up an automation in a previous video that when this is triggered, it will then give me 60 seconds to get out the door and then automatically my, uh, my door locks, the garage shuts and all the lights go off. So I don't need to set that up because that's already an automation that happens once this is set to away. So I'll hit done, next. And done, and there you go, and that's it. When uh, I tap my NFC, um, it's going to uh, set my alarm, give me 60 seconds to get out of the house. Now I'm gonna put this in a cool spot, and we're gonna test this automation. All right, so that is our third automation that we've set up using these NFC tags with HomeKit. There's a lot of possibility here, and I know there's some people out there doing some pretty amazing things with these. Let me know if you guys are gonna be using NFC tags and what exactly you're doing with it because it's really cool to get ideas from each other. Uh, also, let me know if this is the kind of stuff you guys wanna see on this channel. Do you wanna see more stuff with shortcuts? You wanna see more reviews? I'm gonna be playing around with HomeKit regardless, so let me know what you guys wanna see. And thanks to everybody who has watched and subscribed. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you hadn't subscribed already, consider doing that. Check the bell icon because I'm releasing a new HomeKit video every week. Thanks again for watching, and until the next time, I'll see y'all later.